Shalom, shalom Kenyans, and I praise the name of the living God. Shalom everyone, where are you watching me from? We are here, kwa mlima wa maombi. Je, ungependa ni kuombe nini? Nikiwa hapa kwa mlima wa maombi. Karibu sana. Nataka nizungumze kuhusu jambo fulani uhusiana na state house na yale ambayo yanafanyika na yale ambayo yanakwenda kufanyika. Shalom sana. Karibu sana. Let me know where you are getting me from wherever you are. Acha ni nijue tu unanipata kutoka wapi. Uh, nikiwa hapa kwa huu mlima Nijue tu na nipata kutoka wapi ukiwa hapa Kenya uh, ukiwa Kenya ukiwa kule Kenya niambie tu unanipata kutoka wapi in the name of Jesus Christ Shalom shalom andika tu niandikie tu hapo mahali unanipata hapo tu Nijulishe tu unanipata kutoka wapi na ni vizuri kuombewa ni vizuri prophet age kuombea ni vizuri kuombewa ah uh, in the name of Jesus Christ acha tufuatane pamoja kwa hapa kwa mlima kwa mlima hapa yes you can see i'm here kwenye mlima wa maombi nataka nizungumze jambo fulani Uh, wherever you are mm. yeah the name of jesus mm. kwenye mapango huku tunatafuta uso wa mungu i have received your prayer request wale ambao mmenitumia kwa WhatsApp nimepokea your prayer request and I'm working on it to make sure Mungu anajibu maombi yako kabisa so natafuta mahali nitasimama nisungumse natafuta mahali tu nitasimama niweze kusungumza shalom shalom sana Shalom sana. Ya, yeah, naona hapa ni mahali pazuri naweza nikazungumza kwa dakika chache. Kwa dakika chache ili tuweze kubarikiwa na Mungu wa uzima Yes God bless you so much Ah uh, kwa nini kuna kwa nini kuna hilo jambo na kwa nini kuna ulazima kwa madhabahu iliyokuwa kwa, kwa ikulu ya Kenya state house kubomolewa na kuvunjwa Unakumbuka vizuri kwamba state house iliweza zamani kujengwa uh, if not 19, 1907 at that time ilikuwa inaitwa parliament house haikuwa inaitwa state house na kuna wale walikuwa wameijenga the people ambao walijenga ni they are the same same people ambao walijenga KICC na ni watu ambao walikuwa wanahusika na free masons sasa you know this is the season ambaye tunazungumzia kuhusu madhabahu and it is my prayer for you that madhabahu yoyote ambayo imekuwa ikikusumbua niko hapa kwa mlima madhabahu yoyote ambayo imekuwa ikikusumbua ni wiki na ni season ya kuivunja kabisa 
kumbuka president ambaye ameingia ni mcha Mungu na huwezi ukaingia nyumba ya mtu na kumwambia kitu state house kulikuwa na madhabahu na wale wamejenga ni watu ambaye wanahusika walikuwa wanahusika na freemason freemasons na yale ambayo mmeona yanaendelea Kenya yale ambayo mmeona yanaendelea Kenya yale ambayo nilitabiri nilisema kwamba kutakuwa na madhabahu ya Mungu ikulu parliament na nikasema kwamba kutakuwa na revival kubwa sana katika nchi ya Kenya sasa nataka ni weke hivi kwamba je ikulu inabomolewa aje state house inabomolewa aje na mamlaka ita react namna gani jeshi ita react namna gani mahakama ita react namna gani wabunge wata react namna gani wakati ambapo uh, ikulu inavunjwa wakati ambapo ikulu inavunjwa sasa nataka kitu cha kwanza niweze kupata kwa sababu niko kwa maombi na vile unanitazama niko kwa maombi uh, ni, niko katika hali ya maombi i'm in prayers i'm praying andika hapo chini kwamba hautaangushwa hautaangushwa in the name of jesus andika sitakufa andika hapo chini nakataa kufa kwa jina la Yesu sema sitakufa andika hapo chini your prayer request nipatie your prayer request nikiwa hapa tu uh, nikiwa tu hapa niandikie your prayer request in the name of Jesus Christ na Mungu wetu ambaye anajibu maombi ni Mungu mwaminifu remember to come this Thursday hii Thursday itakuwa ni Thursday ya kuvunja madhabahu Thursday ya ku ya maombi na maombezi make sure hata ume, umekaribisha mtu usione mtu ako na shida na anateseka huko kuja Kangundo town kwa miracle tent ukuje kuombewa pale na ukuje kupokea muujiza wako ukuje kuhudumiwa kiroho katika jina la Yesu Kristo na ninaamini kwamba Mungu wa uzima ataweza kutenda mambo ya ajabu na mambo makubwa mno so uh, nataka uweze kupata testimonies uweze kupata testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ uweze kupata testimonies katika jina la Yesu wale ambaye hauna kazi pokea kazi na ukishasikia nimesema upokea kazi andika hapo chini amen i receive job uh, i receive job wale ambaye mnataka kwenda ngambo mnataka kwenda wapi na safari imekwama ama umeenda huko ngambo lakini mambo sio mzuri pokea hiyo neema ukiandika tu hapo kwa comment yako hapo chini i receive it in the name of jesus na itakuwa hivyo na itatokea because we are praying we are praying we are praying itatokea na itakuwa hivyo we are praying because we are praying in the name of Jesus Christ we are praying we are praying in the name of Jesus Christ andika tu hapo chini because we are praying na kama upati mtoto pokea mtoto andika tu hapo chini na pokea kwa jina la Yesu kama biashara yako iko chini kazi yako iko chini madharau kazini hakuna promotion stagnant unapata pesa haikusaidi pokea muujiza wako in the name of Jesus Christ pokea muujiza wako in the name of Jesus Christ pokea muujiza wako in the name of Jesus Christ pokea neema ya Mungu katika jina la Yesu Kristo pokea muujiza wako in the name of Jesus Christ um njo kangundo town this coming Thursday and also this coming Sunday na if you want to be my partner niandikie message kwa namba yangu tu ile unaona kwa YouTube ya 0711475571 andika tu uh, niandikie message pa prophet mimi nataka kuwa uh, partner wako na nitakujibu nikisha kujibu basi uh, utapata mwelekeo on how to, 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 to what to do or how to go about it ili niweze kukuweka kwa list ya partnership uh, 
na all over the world because my, my partners ni wengi they are all over the world so nitakuweka pale na itakuwa jambo la baraka kabisa in the name of Jesus Christ kama ulienda kanisa ukakwazwa na ukafunjika moyo kwa sababu ya mambo mbili tatu then usikae nyumbani usikae nyumbani tafuta tu kumwabudu Mungu mtafute Mungu usikae nyumbani eh, usikae nyumbani kama hapo umekwazika basi tafuta tu mahali tu uta make sure na mwabudu Mungu usikae nyumbani usikae nyumbani tunaendelea kuvunja madhabahu na kama uja participate kwa kuvunja madhabahu make sure ume ume, ume may participate in the name of Jesus Christ. So um nakukaribisha kangundo, nakukaribisha kangundo katika jina la Yesu. Kuja uo, tuombe, kuja uone Mungu. Kuja tu uone Mungu. Na wale ambao mnanifuata wa YouTube usiku na mchana mnanitazama. Aki Mungu wangu tu awakumbuke. Mungu wangu awabariki. Mungu wangu awatetee. Mungu wangu awapiganie. Mungu ambaye namtafuta Mungu ambaye namwamini, Mungu ambaye namtumikia. Huyo ambaye aliniita. Akutoe kwa umaskini, akutoe kwa ufukara, akutoe kwa wasiwasi, akutoe kwa stress, akutoe kwa magonjwa. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Na kama wewe ni mgonjwa, andika tu hapo chini, uh, I'm healed. Andika nimepona. Kama wewe ni mgonjwa, andika nimepona. Kama wewe ni mgonjwa, kidney failure, whatever sicknesses and diseases Andika tu hapo nimepona in the name of Jesus Christ. Na utapona. Imagine ni kimchezo mchezo tu hivi. Unaandika tu hapo. Na unapata after one, two, three days. Unapata hiyo ugonjwa ilipotea. Hata uju ilienda wapi. Kumbe ni hile comment uliandika. Eh, hile uliandika. Mashida yote ambayo unapitia saa hii. Andika hapo message kata. Kata hiyo mashida. Itaji kwa majina. Andika tu kata. Hiyo, hiyo shida unapitia. Kwa comment yako. Sababu we are praying. Andika tu kata kata in the name of Jesus kata kwa jina la Yesu Kristo. Andika tu na kata uh, this and this and this uh, other problems just mention mention them kwa your comment in the name of Jesus Christ. Na if yet uh, not yet subscribed to this channel, kama uja subscribe kwa hii channel, make sure umesubscribe subscribe na just share. Share tu kwa upendo. Haijalishi watu wa, wa ambao unawarushia wataipokelea aje. Iweke tu hata kwa status yako, iweke tu iende spray, iende upande hii, huku na huku iende ifikie watu na ukipeleka injili hii mbele ifikie watu. Hii itakuwa ni habari njema na Yesu atakubariki kwa sababu ya kufanya kazi yake. Maana hakuna mtu alimtumikia Mungu akabaki maskini. So, um as I said in my prophecies before 2022 huko nyuma nilisema revival kubwa inakuja Kenya na hii revival kubwa inakuja Kenya kuna watumishi watakuja Kenya kuna watumishi watakuja Kenya mmeona tu vile watumishi wanakuja kutoka mataifa mbalimbali watumishi walio na neema na nguvu za Mungu wanakuja Kenya na bado wanaendelea kukuja wanaendelea kumiminika. Kwa nini wanakuja? Kwa sababu kuna kitu Mungu anafanya katika ardhi hii ya Kenya, mchanga ya Kenya. Mungu kuna kitu anafanya uh, kule Nairobi, kule Kenya. Mungu kuna kitu anafanya. Kuna kitu Mungu anafanya. Kuna kitu Mungu anafanya. Unaona uh, timu ya TB Joshua wanakuja. Kuna timu nyingine wanakuja. Kuna timu nyingine wanakuja. Revival ina, inamiminika Kenya hivi. Na believe me, hii revival imebeba baraka zako. Vile unaona tunapeleka ma crusade Uganda, Tanzania, wapi? Malawi na hapa Kenya. Kuna kitu kinatendeka. Na kuna watumishi wa Mungu watakuja na watakaribishwa status. Na watakapokaribishwa status niliona mwangaza mkubwa sana. Status ikikombolewa. Sababu ya ile madhabahu ambaye ilikuwa hapo tangu zamani. Sababu miungu na mizimi najua kwamba hii ni nyumba ya utawala. 
Ndio maana zamani ilikuwa inaitwa Parliament House. Sasa ilikuwa inajulikana vizuri sana kwamba um, hii ni nyumba ya utawala. Na kwa hiyo nyumba ya utawala Mungu ameniambia anaenda kufanya kitu. Kuna kitu anaenda kufanya. Kitu anachoenda kufanya ni kwamba wakati ambapo Ruto president ameenda kukalia pale amekuta anga ngumu sana na amekuta ugumu sana. That's why unaona mambo jinsi yalivyo Kenya. Lakini Mungu akitaka kufanya kitu katika taifa, katika falme, katika nchi yoyote huwa analeta wajumbe wake kwanza. Akishaleta wajumbe wake kwanza waliobeba mafuta ya kingly authority ya apostolic anointing ya prophetic anointing ile madhabahu ina, ina, inaanza kuvunjika polepole ambayo inazungumza kinyume na mema inazungumza kinyume na mema na nataka ujue kwamba kukiwa na madhabahu mahali fulani ya giza hata kama ukiingia pale kwa hiyo nyumba na umeokoka ile sheria ya pale ya ile madhabahu itataka tu ufanye accordingly accordingly to the protocol na if hautaki kufanya accordingly accordingly to the protocol ni lazima uvunje u make sure umevunja ile madhabahu ambayo inataka ufanye accordingly na itaki ufanye ile mipango ni kweli president william ruto alipoingia alikuwa na mipango mingi sana katika nchi ya Kenya na for your information uh, for your information ni kwamba ataweza ataweza na atafanikiwa pakubwa sana na kwa njia kubwa sana atafanikiwa kwa njia kubwa sana na ataweza kufanya yale ambayo Mungu alimtuma kufanya na kumfanyia watu wa Kenya. So, msio na wasiwasi wa Kenya, let us keep on praying. Let us keep on prophesying to our country mambo mema. Uh, hata kama hali ni ngumu. Tusi tusi panic kwa sababu safari bado ni ndefu na ninajua Mungu wa uzima ako na mpango na Kenya na wa Kenya wote. In the name of Jesus Christ. John mali unaniangalia Mungu akubariki wekesa Mungu akubariki uh, na wale wengine wote mnatazama pokea tu neema ya Mungu vile tu unanitazama pokea neema ya Mungu maana Biblia nasema ukifuatana na nabii utapata jawabu ya nabii so nabii amebeba baraka na amebarikiwa na Mungu si mpokee tu baraka na uandike tu hapo kwa kwa message I receive in the name of Jesus is hii ni maswala ya kiroho kwa hiyo naposema ikulu inabomolewa sio ikulu ile building ni ikulu ile madhabahu sio ikulu ile building ni ikulu the altar ile madhabahu imekuwa hapo na imekuwa hapo hiyo madhabahu iki control rulers iki control kings iki control eh na ndio maana unakuta kwamba uh, wafalme wengi ambaye wanaenda tu haraka haraka kwa ile kitu wanakalia wanaingia eh, state house wanakaa pale unakuta kitu ikikuja kama ya ushoga katika taifa anatia sahihi ana sign anaweka signature yake kupitisha watu mnashangaa kwani huyu mtu aliacha Mungu lini ali ni nini imefanya kwa kwa huyu mtu lakini ni ile madhabahu eh Unakuta anaweka sahihi. Watu kunyongwa anaweka sahihi. Eh? Sheria ambaye hazifaifai anaweka signature na, na inapita hivyo. Maana ni mfalme ameweka sahihi. So, hii revival inaendelea ni kwa sababu ya kuvunja hiyo maagano, kuvunja ile altar, kuvunja hiyo hivyo spirit hiyo ambayo iko iko kule. Nataka saa hii uandike hapo chini kwa comment yako kuhusu ile madhabahu iko kwenu inakutesa ile agiza kama ni madhabahu ya pombe ya ulevi umeona kabisa madhabahu ya ulevi vile inaonea watu na unajua watu wakikula pombe kwa familia hakuna maendeleo andika hapo down right, just write down there to your comment 
that I destroy every evil altars in the name of Jesus Christ. Andika tu hapo kwamba unaharibu madhabahu yote ya giza. Unaharibu just destroy all those altars in the name of Jesus Christ. Just destroy all those altars in the name of Jesus Christ. Andika tu hapo kama ni pombe inatawala kwenu, kama ni madhabahu ya kansa, kama ni madhabahu ya umasikini, kama ni madhabahu ya kudharauliwa, kama ni madhabahu ya utasa, barrenness, kama ni madhabahu ya uh, ya ya ufukara eh? kama ni madhabahu ya kukaa mahali moja duni tu kama ni madhabahu ya hakunaga mtu anajenga na watu wakijenga kwa hiyo boma wanakufaga eh? andika tu kwamba na bomoa hiyo madhabahu andika tu just destroy those altars in the mighty name of Jesus Christ na hata kama utaweza kama if you are able wakati unatuma sadaka yako make sure ile sadaka unatuma kama ni 1000 make sure hapo nyuma yake kuna namba 12 maana namba 12 ndio madhaba ndio dhabiu ya kuvunja uh, madhabahu kumbuka very well before before Gideon aanze vita na wa Midian the Midians before Gideon aanze vita na wa Midian Mungu alimwambia Gideon hold on make sure kwanza umevunja ile madhabahu ya Baal ambaye iko na baba yako kwa sababu hiyo itakuzuia hiyo itakupatia challenges so madhabahu imezuia watu uh, kuenda to the greatness mm madhabahu imezuia watu ndio maana nakwambia andika hapo kwa, kwa comment yako sambaratisha madhabahu yote vunja vunja we are praying we are praying vunja vunja baraka batus le kabala kata vunja vunja madhabahu yoyote kariga jina la Yesu Kristo wanazo wetalie hai vunja vunja yote tu kabisa in the name of Jesus Christ Mungu akamwambia Gideon vunja madhabahu ya Baali ambaye baba yako ako nayo mm-hmm. enda uchukue ngombe mbili uchinje utoe uh, sadaka dhabiu vunja hiyo madhabahu kabisa na unaona madhabahu inavunjwa na sacrifices na madhabahu ya vunjagi mara moja kuna watu tumezaliwa kwa familia tukakuta madhabahu ni kama elfu moja so keep on breaking and destroying those altars no matter what keep on destroying those altars in the name of Jesus Christ so madhabahu ya giza inavunjika ikulu na mama Hawa wa mama wetu ambaye tuko nao mama Recho na pasta Dorcas Kashagwa we thank God for them because kila wakati na usiku na mchana wanaomba tu we thank God for them ukiwa na mama anakuombea ni vizuri sana ukiwa na mama anakuombea ni vizuri sana ama ukiwa na mke anakuombea ni mzuri sana acha na hawa tu ambaye eh hata aombei mume wake aombei taifa aombei boma ni kutaka tu hii na hii na hii na hii na hii hmm? but we thank god tuko na hawa mama we thank god tuko na hawa mama hawa mama wanafanya kazi mzuri lakini pia mfalme ambaye yuko mtawala ambaye ni president ataivunja hiyo madhabahu vile unaona hapo kwa picha nime umeona tu kabla uanze kunitazama atavunja na inavunjika because madhabahu mbili haiwezi kukaa mahali moja madhabahu mbili haiwezi kukaa mahali moja na ndio maana wakati wowote ambao utaanza kuvunja vunja madhabahu ya giza kwa familia yenu utaanza kupitia changamoto na some challenges maana nguvu ya hiyo madhabahu itakuwa ina ina repel inajaribu ku repel inajaribu kupinga yale unafanya lakini usichoke mtoto wa Mungu usichoke pambana naye kabisa katika jina la Yesu Kristo katika jina la Yesu Kristo pambana naye in the name of Jesus Christ because utashinda andika hapo chini nitashinda andika tu andika tu just right andika tu na, na kungojea uandike ndio niendelee kuongea Andika tu nitashinda. Andika nitashinda alafu nikuombea saa hii ushindi. Andika tu nitashinda nikuombea saa hii ushindi. Mm.
andika nitashinda kumbuka na kungoja kangundo this coming thursday and this coming sunday na kungoja kangundo andika tu hapo alafu unyoshe mkono wako kwa screen andika nita, nitashinda nataka nikuombea roho ya ushindi ili Mungu aweze kupigania ushinde kama ni kansa utaishinda magonjwa utaishinda umaskini utaishinda nataka nikuombee upokee roho ya ushindi that spirit of victory nataka nikuombee andika tu kwanza just type down there on your comment andika tu i'm waiting for you andika alafu niweze kukuombea andika tu mimi ni mshindi andika nitashinda mm. andika tu just write down there nitashinda just want to pray for you uh nataka tuombe mm. because usiku aona imeingia andika tu hapo andika tu nitashinda mm. andika tu nitashinda i just want to pray for you uh, father in the name of jesus christ na muombea mjole wako ambaye amekiri kwa kinywa chake kwamba atashinda kama ni ugonjwa naomba ushindi juu yake akashinde katika jina la Yesu Kristo nikiwa hapa Mungu naye jibu maombi wajoli wako wanantazama wakumbuke wainue uwabariki wape neema wape kibali wape neema wape kibali watoto wetu wa Kenya kule mahali wako katika mataifa ya wenyewe wala wako United States of America UK wala wako Arabs Nations wale tu wako nje ya Kenya, Canada, wala wako Europe, Asia, Sampa of Africa. Mungu naomba uwalinde. Wasirudi nyumbani wakiwa kwa sanduku ya jenesa. Wasirudi wakiwa maskini. Waepushe na kifo. Uwainue na kuwabariki na kuwakumbuka e Mungu. Mungu wa Abraham, Isaka na Yakobo. Kumbuka taifa hili la Kenya. Kumbuka rehema zako mfalme. Komboa ikulu yetu komboa status kupitia revival ambayo inaendelea katika nchi ya Kenya. Imidiwa milele mokozi. Wote wanao nitazama wamenisikiliza wacha ushindi wakapokee katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Let there be light in this life. Let there be light in this life. For distance is not a barrier na tamka neema. Let there be light in this life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let there be light in your business. Let there be light in your career. Whatever challenges and situation you are in, may the power of God locate you. Pokea ushindi. Pokea muujiza, pokea ushindi. Pokea muujiza, pokea ushindi in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let there be light in your life from today from now. Let there be light. Na, po, na, 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 na kuponya na ponya majeraha ya moyoni katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Pokea mume, pokea mke. Pokea watoto wale ambao hauna uwezo kwa tumbo yako ya kupokea watoto. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Pokea safari. Pokea breakthrough in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much. Amini kwamba umeshinda. Wewe ni mshindi kwa sababu umeandika hapo wewe ni mshindi. Na if you are able, unaweza ukatoa tu sadaka ya ushindi. Kwa hiyo tu namba ambayo unatumiaga 0711475571. Sadaka tu ya ushindi. Na ni hivyo umeshinda. Tupatane kangundo kwa Miracle Tent. Thursday and Sunday na utabarikiwa na Mungu. Shalom Kenya. Shalom Kenya. God bless you. In the name of Jesus.